Hello there. Our brush tonight is my Plisson Maison du Barbier. I don't know if I can get that to show. There you go. Which means House of the Barber. Black acetate handle, Plisson size 12 knot. One of my very favorite brushes. I got a bunch of favorite stuff. We're going to sit it here and let it soak a bit. And the soap tonight is a big fat sample. Look how fat that sample is, folks. I bet that thing's a quarter inch thick and an, an inch that way. Easy. And more than that, a couple in, or inch and a half. Nice big fat. This is OSP's UK Wet Shaving Society uh, soap. It was a soap, obsess, obsessive soap perfectionist. Uh, hang on a minute. I have it bookmarked here. I should have already been at the page. Uh, this is description of it from OSP. If I can get the thing, it's uh, 13 pounds, which works probably works out to like 19 bucks American. It's a UK based soap company. Uh, it says this shaving soap is dedicated to the UK Wet Shaving Society Facebook group. I'm a member. I'm not. Uh, from the UK but uh, I joined it a long time ago when it first came out and uh, really good forum a lot of really cool guys uh, and uh, or a good Facebook group whatever you want to call it and I'm good to be proud to be a member of the UK wet shaving society anyway it says this soap is scented with a fragrance I call herb garden clean lavender but with earthy fresh and exhilarating herbs, rosemary and sage. To add depth and complexity, I also added is just a tickle of menthol to see you through the summer. Uh, now, uh, this was a limited edition, only 150 available. Uh, and he says, all the ingredients are natural, organic and unrefined where possible to ensure that as much goodness as possible remains in the soap. Uh, and this, uh, he is, let's see, I forget what his name is, but he's got it on here somewhere. James. Uh, I know who he is, but I can't remember his last name. Sorry. Sorry, James, but I do know who you are. Uh, anyway, that's the deal with that. So, But this was a gift from a good friend of mine, and I really am looking forward to trying it and seeing what it's like. It smells lovely in the package. Let me move down and start to shave. I'm going to do is I'm just going to break a piece of this off because I don't imagine that it'll take more than that right there to get enough lather. The consistency of the soap is, is a Fairly hard, soft soap. Uh, reminds me of something like Martin de Condor. Oh, the scent is lovely. It's all over my hands now. <laughs> but uh, looking forward to trying this. I, uh, there are so many 
soaps out there and I have a bunch that I want to try that have been around a while and some maybe that haven't but I just haven't had the time. OSP is one of them. Mickey Lee's is one of them. Uh, there's a bunch. Uh, Dr. John lovely it's turning into a really beautiful creamy lather it's not taking a whole lot it, it started out really foamy of course I have a synthetic and even though I shook a lot of the water out of it I soaked my synthetics and there was a lot of water in this knot so I may have introduced quite a bit of water into it at first, but I mean, you can look at it now. It's peaking. And uh, looking beautiful. So I'm not going to add any more water to that. Well, actually, yes, I am. Because to me, of course, I've got. that bit of sample in the bottom of the puck that I'm building off of so but to me it looks like it could use a bit more water there's a sheen starting to happen on the lather and a lot I associate that with soaps that do it some soaps just don't do it and that's not a big deal either way I but I like that sheen I like the look of that and I associate that sheen with a particular water content so I want to add I wanted to add a bit more but I think that that right there is going to be fantastic it's a wonderful scent uh, I can pick out the lavender and uh, I can tell that it's blended with some other things but it's also got like a just a soapy scent and I know that you know everybody likes all the different fabulous scents that are out there and and I do too I love all the the artisan and and uh, other types of soaps that have the, all the different wonderful types of complex and and beautiful scents uh, but there's a part of me that really really loves just a clean soapy uh, shaving soap that's why I like things like Mitchell's wool fat uh, or even like the Vanderhagen it's a it's the, the deluxe is a lightly scented but there's that soap scent behind it I just I like that kind of stuff there's a several others that I use that have, that have that in the background and I really like that so the, the scent is slamming me good. I like the way that it smells. Let's see. Yeah, that lather's still a bit dry for me. So let's put a bit of. There we go. That's better. Just needed a touch. But that's because I was building it on top of the... Basically, it would be akin to building it on top of the puck. Because uh, I had that sample in the bottom of the bowl and it was way more than enough to do what I needed. And I'm probably going to have to do what I just did then on the second pass you get the water balance right that's not a problem this the razor the night is my germania cutlery uh the oxford razor i've used this several times but i've been playing with a codical with this and i just uh finished i uh 
jointed the edge and went back to the 1K grit, reset the bevel, and went through 3K and 8K and spent a bit of time on the 8K and then went to the cortical under running water. And the edge uh, is popping hair like crazy on the hanging hair test. Uh, but you don't, you don't know till you put it to face. So let's see. And I got a couple of days growth, so that'll be a good test for the edge. Oh yeah, just that initial. Pass on the cheek. It's lovely. Oh, yeah. I don't know how else to describe that edge, but what comes to my mind is buttery smooth. <laughs> uh, that's just lovely. I, I, that's just lovely. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. Very nice. So, I could safely say It has a finisher. The conical does a wonderful job. If you pay attention to, to setting the bevel properly and, and going through all the uh, grit and spending, excuse me, I burped, sorry, spending the time needed there. Uh, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Dan Stick, thank you for letting me use your conical and exploring it. Uh, I really, uh, I really, really enjoyed using it. Lovely. Actually, I think I'm going to go with just, just go with that right there. Pretty good. Wonderful slickness. Not crazy, crazy slick, but way good in it. There's a, a really lovely glide under the edge of the blade.
with this soap. Man, I love the heel of a straight. I know a lot of people, like I said, they have to cut so before they think this part of the blade is used more for me. It's really not. That, that heel is just... For me, anyway. One of the best parts of the razor. I got a little zit right here, so I want to be careful. I'm going to actually use some lather instead of just using water, and I'm going to try across. Get a bit of touch up. On that chin. But, if you put some water on that, really nice and slick, really nice. Ah, uh, lovely. Fantastic cuticle edge, uh, beautiful. That's a lovely shave, nice and close. Uh, fantastic soap. Uh, got quite a bit of glide to it. Let me see. The cushion on it is a bit light, but it's there. And it makes up for it with uh, the creaminess of the ladder and the uh, glide. It's got an exceptional, in my opinion, an exceptional glide to this soap. And it's one of those soaps if you have really dry skin, though. I mean, I notice it on my face now. Uh, if you have really, really dry skin, you might think of it as drying, but in my opinion, it's not. I have very oily skin, and, and in my opinion, it just is, it really cleanses your face. Uh, let me dry my face. Lovely, wonderful shave. Beautiful. All right. You know who you are. My friend asked not to be singled out. 
thank you for their OSP UK Wet Shaving Society soap. Fantastic sample. I got several more shaves than that. I'm gonna enjoy enjoy every one of them. I got another shave left in my bowl. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it in there, and the next time I use that bowl, you know, <laughs> it'll be good to go. So I'm gonna use Gillette Cool Wave just because it's a really clean to me light type scent it just it's got a bit of sharpness to it that I think I will go good with the lavender and and uh, some of the other components of that so just fantastic lovely shave uh, and once again, thanks, Dan Stickney, for the use of your cortical. Uh, I found what I wanted to know about the cortical's, and uh, I really appreciate it. All right, God bless you guys, and I will see you next time around. Later.